Hi, my name is Tim Sisserchi. I'm product manager of AS Interface and ID Systems. And today, I'm going to tell you about programming of ASI modules with the handheld programmer. The handheld programmer right here has a series of buttons to do the programming and reading of the address. An M12 connector at the top to program the uh, ASI modules and a series of holes that are also in the top where you can attach modules directly to the handheld. Most AS Interface I.O. modules have a programming jack directly on the front. Remove the programming jack cover and plug the programming cable directly into the module and then connect it directly to the handheld. First thing you want to do is press the address key. That way it will read the address out of the module. You can see the address 0 is the current default address for the module. We're going to increment that to address 1A. Choose program. Choose address. And you're done. Some ASI modules can be connected directly to the handheld programmer without the cable at all. These would normally connect to a base which connects to the network. Just line up the screws on the top of the handheld programmer so it sits firmly in place. Okay, the first thing you want to do is hit the address key to read the address from the node. Increment to the next address on the network and in our case it's address 2A. The program key to set the address and again confirm by hitting the address key. Now remove the node and continue. Some ASI modules don't have a programming jack, but rather an M12 connector that will go directly on the Aussie cable. In this case, you want to use a standard M12 extension cable where the female connects to the Aussie module and the male connects to the handheld programmer. So the first thing we'll do is hit the address key to read the default address of zero. We'll then use the arrow key to increment to the next address on the network, which in this case should be address 3A. There's program, and then address to confirm. Some ASI modules don't have any programming jack at all, but rather have terminal connections to your Aussie network. In this case, you'll use a standard male cable. You'll plug the brown into the ASI plus, blue into the ASI minus. Then you'll go ahead and plug the cable directly into the programmer. And we'll follow the same procedures before assigning it the next address that's on the network. And that will be 4A. Press address to confirm, and everything's programmed. AS Interface can also hold safety modules. These are addressed just like any other module on the network. However, the only difference is only 31 safety nodes are allowed on the network. So in that case, it'll be addressed at 1 through 31 only, no A or B. The M12 extension cable is attached to the safety module. And again, the cable is attached to the handheld program. Press the address key to read the address off the network. You'll notice that there's no A or B displayed on the screen because it only has addresses 1 through 31. I will make this address 5. Choose program, the address to confirm. Thanks for watching this brief video about AS Interface programming. And stay tuned for more Pepperland Fuchs videos to come.